Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world, this is me. Neo, or Stan, some of my friends know me and my clients know me. I just figured I would spill the beans as to uh, what I'm working on next. You could, you, you've probably seen my videos on how I built myself a new Super Duper system right behind there. Let me show you. Uh, hit the enter key. Anyways, bear with me a quick second. So, we take a look at this. And this is my main PC here. I'll show it to you in a second. We take a look here. And again, you got three QHD monitors, which is just bloody big. And that was my again over here if you take a look you see my big glowing beast there and it works really fast it's rated it, at for, when i first built it it was in the top 10 now it's still in the top 20 of fast systems and one of the things is like i've been uh investigating a lot into a lot of some of the old stuff bringing back the old memories and stuff by the way, side note, we're all, anyways, oh my wife would understand this, you see my big hair, this is what happens when COVID, and I can't get my hair cut, nice and long, eh, crazy, month and a half growth, crazy, crazy, anyways, back, <laughs> focus, you want focus, anyways, so anyways, uh, see, basically I bought a bunch of these, and these are little buttons, see that, little black button. And I bought one of these. Actually, I got a couple of these. These are some wires and stuff like that. And I've been doing some testing. And here's all the wires that go with it. Along with the controller board. And I, as you can see, I got a paper in there where I mapped all the wiring and figured out exactly where everything goes. And I got some red buttons too. And, and so that leads to what I am working on right now. If we take, take a look here. Let me see if I can switch the cameras around. And you take a look right there. And there's a screen. You can see the motherboard down there. And you see the screen here. And this is Miss Pac-Man. This is the actual ROM for Pac-Man. The, the one thing that's really cool about this. Let me take a look at this. Is that you can actually play the game. And what I plan to do is basically. I can simulate a coin in, put in. And I can choose player one. And go ahead and play the game using the cursor keys but of course i have the joystick already and i've already tested that and it, it's the actual game from way back and way back you know in the arcade days so, and if i hit escape here i can actually switch out to other games like galaxian donkey kong frogger dig dug you know all the old favorite stuff like this uh, if you want to take a look at Donkey Kong, and there we go. Hit enter twice there. And there is Donkey Kong, which is totally really, really cool. So I can in simulate inserting a coin and choose player one. And then you got the old Donkey Kong stuff as well, too, which is pretty awesome. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm building... Let me switch out of there. I'm building basically an arcade, a retro arcade machine using the original ROMs that they had in the old arcade machines. I will have probably about 10 or 15 games on there and stuff like that, and I'll show you when it's done. But I figured I'd start a live and see if I could generate some interest and see if anybody else is interested in this stuff. Like, their Donkey Kong going. That's pretty good. I liked it, and I, I've, I've done an extreme amount of testing with the, the joystick that I bought, which is pretty cool. And the controllers, and I've tested basically the interface and being able to select between games and stuff like that. I've got all the scripting done. I've got everything all done and ready. All I have to do is put it together, which is really cool. And, and I love the fact that you can use one of the simple monitors like this one. And this is a cheapo monitor, right? But at the same time, even though this monitor is a cheapo monitor... It still has about four times the resolution of the old arcade game, so it'll do well. 
So all I have to do now is put it all together and get everything working perfectly. So if you got any questions, uh, be sure to fire me some questions here. Or uh, if you have any ideas as to what I'm going to do, I have the entire, uh, for this, this first arcade machine I'm going to make, I have the entire thing planned out. And then, like if you notice with this one, this game, this is a game with what I call is the... Like if we look at here, uh, basically it's in portrait mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be making an arcade machine that basically will be in landscape mode. And that, landscape means that it's on its side, it's just the different, whether it's straight up and down or on its side and, and stuff like that. So I'll be making two machines. But the first machine I'll have is, it'll have my favorites and the second one will have some of my favorites along with you know, like Tetris and other stuff like that. I was even thinking of throwing Pong in there. I'm not sure what the point of Pong is because I mean, it's sliding things up and down. <laughs> but eh, you never know. I might do that. But the one thing I'm interested in with the landscape one is the Missile Command. And I'm, i got to look for a ball for that one, for the second one. But again, I will post down and let you know. Again, if you got any questions or if you need help with computers or if you want to build your own, let me know. And I will give you some proof pointer and tips. I won't give away the whole house and how I put everything together. However, I will be happy to help you get started and help you to, to work out with the emulators and stuff and what to do. And of course we have... Uh, we have my local bug inspecting everything, making sure it's working. I think she's come to play Donkey Kong because she heard I put it on. Anyways, you guys take care. Have a great day. And again, thanks for watching. And pretty soon, probably in about a week, I should be done the first one. And I'll show you guys what it looks like and how it looks and everything. I got an idea on how to set up the uh, Joy control panel and everything. And I also have to have a button set up so that you can simulate putting quarters in by pressing the button and stuff like that. And the one and two player things and the action buttons and the joystick and everything. So again, expect to hear from me in about a week and then I'll show you exactly how it worked out. You guys take care. God bless. Have a great day, and again, thanks for watching.